ways of being, integrating mind, body, spirit, and heart. Dr. Melissa J. Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa J. Grateful to be here with you and, and excited to share with you some reflections on ways of being. Specifically, I'm going to share some reflections around Indigenous and Eastern worldviews as a way of supporting ourselves in coming to our practice as counselors from an embodied place. So when I say embodied, what I'm really being curious about is how we're integrating our minds with our bodies, with our spirits, and with our hearts. And when we can integrate mind, body, spirit, and heart, we allow ourselves to show up holistically. We allow ourselves to show up authentically, and we're better able to be in the present moment with our clients. So if I was right now disconnected from my body, I might just be speaking, but it's important for me to notice, am I speaking from my heart? Am I thinking about what I wanna say? Am I speaking from my heart? Am I grounded in my seat? And what's my energy like? How is my spirit coming into this? Why does this matter? Well, it matters because when we are able to show up fully, we're more likely to engage from a place that is authentic and support others in doing the same. As an Indigenous person, I'm grateful to have the support of elders and knowledge keepers in my own journey to decolonizing myself. Through my experience and, and learning from their wisdom, I've learned that by integrating spirit into all that we do, we're actually integrating ourselves more fully into all that we do. What colonization often is referred to by some of the elders and knowledge keepers that I know, it's referred to the removal of spirit. When we disconnect from spirit, we're disconnecting from the reason why something is happening. When we infuse spirit into all that we do, we're staying deeply dedicated to our why. We're staying deeply focused on the why of any of the doings that we're participating in. I also have the deep privilege of studying and teaching yoga. Yoga is also a practice that has been colonized. And when yoga was brought over to North America, what happened was only one of the eight limbs of yoga was extracted, and that is asana. Asana is often how we see yoga, it's the posture. So by honoring the roots of yoga, we go back to infusing all the components that make up this beautiful tradition. There's eight limbs of yoga, and they're deeply dedicated to an ethical practice, honoring ethics outside of ourselves and honoring how we show up for ourselves. So how I make sense of who I am in this world is by honoring that I'm being guided by these ancient wisdom traditions. So what that really means is it is my responsibility as a helping professional and as an ethical human being to support myself in staying integrated, mind, body, spirit, and heart. Coming back to ways of being, when I'm able to be integrated, mind, body, spirit, and heart, it means that I have shifted from being a human doing back into being a human being. When we show up in a state of being, it means that we're present. It means that we are grounded. We're supporting ourselves so that we can better support others. A simple little practice that I use daily and will share often with my clients is this little check-in question. How am I being in this doing? How am I being in this doing? Right now I'm talking with you, I'm recording, so I'm mindful of staying connected to myself. I'm mindful of noticing if I'm speaking from my heart. I'm not trying to overthink what I'm saying so that I can infuse spirit and, be, and trust that I'm being guided in the way that I meant to. So from my heart to yours, may you continue to be curious, always be curious and to check in. How am I being in this doing?